Gear Geek. Epic Gear here at the 2000 Munich ISPO. I'm here with Rick Lockery at the GoPro stand. He's going to tell us all about the Hero 3. Rick, what do you got for us? All right, so this is the brand new Hero 3 Black Edition that just came out uh, this past fall, November to be exact. So this is our third generation HD camera. We actually started off 10 years ago as a, a 28 millimeter film camera that you wore on your wrist. It was an idea born during a surf trip by our founder, Nick. And all along the way, all of us here at GoPro like do what we love, whether it's mountain biking, surfing, skiing, and that's how the product's kind of innovated over the years. We've gone through standard definition all the way up to now the new Hero 3. And what's great about the new Hero 3 is it has integrated Wi-Fi in it. It's half the size of its predecessor, and it'll shoot amazing high definition slow motion video so 1080 at 60 frames per second 1440 at 48 frames per second and 1440 is actually this four by three ratio that's great for skiing it's what we call our knees and skis mode so when you're wearing it on your chest you get all the action all the knees and skis and so right here i'm holding this is our app so this you can see what the camera is seeing wow. you can thank you guys hey bindi <laughs> yeah, you can get in, control the camera, switch all the different controls, wow. see how much battery is left, how much um, SD card capacity. And uh, so this, in US, this retails for 400 And so we have three different editions of the Hero 3. There's the white, the silver, and the black. And it, so white's good, silver's better, and black is best. And the casing for these, because obviously there used to be a big problem with fogging and missing. Yeah, and so this is, this is the waterproof housing, and we also sell anti-fog strips. And they're little guys that you just stick in on the side, and that'll wick all the moisture out. And the cool thing about the anti-fog strips is they're reusable. You get a few sessions out of them, and then you throw them in the oven, bake them at 350 for five minutes, they're all dried out, and you're ready to go for next time. And what's different about this housing then? Uh, so, well, this housing, the big thing that's different about this housing, we went with a flat lens. On the old housing, it was a rounded port. Yeah. So it's just, a, it does a, cuts down on the fisheye. And where it's more noticeable is for diving, yeah. for guys that are scuba diving or snorkeling. When you're underneath water, there's just a little bit more pronounced distortion with the old type of housing. Yeah. This one now incorporates the flat lens. And, um, yeah, and it's half the size to match yeah. the yeah. new camera as well.